The slide shows the full range of the parts made, though I have made more of the swivel joints and bars. Most of that shown through the video is self-explanatory, so we'll only make a few comments. This is the most complex of the parts and enables small changes to the position of the indicator to be made. Especially useful when centering a workpiece in the full jaw chop. See later slide for this. This item, rather like a mini toolmaker's clamp with a spigot on the end, has some interesting uses shown towards the end of the video. A dial indicator normally has two methods of holding it, via a lug on the rear or by being held on the indicator's barrel. Both are shown here. For this, it is likely that a specially bored swivel joint will be needed to fit the indicator's barrel. A dial indicator can be held similarly, but will also need a specially bored swivel joint. Dial indicators cannot be used to test inside boards or channels. This device, though, overcomes the limitation. Unfortunately, I have disposed of the indicator for which I made it, and it does not fit my present indicator. However, I'm sure you will understand how it works from the pictures. The slides that follow will give you a good idea of what is possible beyond just holding indicators.